Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, The Bad Wolf, and today we have Iron Kite Studios' Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Before we get started, I just wanted to ask everyone to please like and subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel and helps us grow as a community. And don't forget, during checkout at Organic Price Books, to use the code BADWOLF for $2 off your order. This is the Iron Kite Studios' one-quarter scale Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. This is a personal grail of mine. Uh, I've been a huge Age of Apocalypse fan for years. It's one of my all-time favorite X-Men stories. Here's the art box that it comes with. Just a picture of the statue on it. Doesn't really need much else. Enough said. For those of you that haven't read The Age of Apocalypse, what are you waiting for? They've got copies over at Organic Price Books. Go pick one up today. Trust me, you won't be sorry. There's a reason Wolverine only has one hand. Spoiler alert, he had another fight with Cyclops over Jean Grey. This time it went a little too far. In this fight, Wolverine lost his hand and Cyclops lost an eye, making him a true Cyclops. Iron Kite Studios, if you're listening, we all need an Age of Apocalypse Cyclops. Alright, well I know you guys are dying to get up close and personal with this bad boy, so let's get to it. And here's our up close and personal view. And right off the bat, man, the intimidation and emotion in that portrait is off the scale. I love this Wolverine. It's my personal favorite. A little bias at the Age of Apocalypse here. Now it did come with a pre-argument hand, so it does have both claws. It looks really good with both claws, but for, you know, accuracy purposes, I have to display it like it is. A little bit of brain matter down here. They did a really good job with this. This is one of those cases where the base is, you know, almost as big as the statue. Uh, half of what you're paying for is the base. Get some detail here in the footwork. A little bit of dirt on the boots. All right, we can come up here. Yeah, I love the design of this outfit, man. It's very reminiscent of the yellow and blue outfit, which was my personal favorite. I know a lot of folks like the brown one, but I always like the yellow and blue. Opinion. It goes back muscles here. He's even got his shirt bunched up. I mean, man, the detail is just uncanny. See what I did there? Just, it's approximately 23 inches high. 13 inches depth and 14 and a half inches wide. Weighs approximately 39 and a half pounds. And this is number 266 of 388 made. All right, that's our up close and personal view. Let's go back now and I'll get the other claw on there. And now it's time to check the alternate alternate universe where Wolverine didn't lose his hand in the Age of Apocalypse. Or we can just say it's pre-fight with Cyclops. This is how I prefer the statue, but I do display him without the hand just for accuracy purposes. As much as I hate to do it, man, I gotta let this one go. I've got a few unexpected bills that showed up and we need to take care of business. I just wanted to do this review with you before you went out the door. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Iron Kite Studios one quarter scale Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Stick around, true believers. I've got plenty of other content to come. Thanks for watching.